welcome to Battlefield Hardline Blackout. Visceral Games have dressed up two of their maps from the base game in a much darker shade, and they've given them to us to play with. This follows a similar path to what DICE LA did with Battlefield 4, and look how popular the night version of Zavod 311 currently is. What's more is this DLC is free to all players, you don't need premium, so there's really no reason not to go out there and give it a go. But more importantly, are these maps any good, or indeed are they better than their daytime equivalents? Let's find out. On first impression, I'm very happy with how these two night transformations turned out. When I heard the choice of the maps was going to be backwards and bank job, I didn't really think there could be two others that would have been better suited to the makeover. Bank job, which is now called night job, is a close quarter infantry battleground which is frantic and full of players at the best of times, but throwing it into darkness has given players plenty of shadows to hide in. And backwards, which for me was probably one of the best maps in the game anyway, it looks even better and it's now called Nightwoods. It's not truly nighttime though, it's more of a dusk setting with the pine trees stretching up into the sky, the forest in the center full of tracers flying in all different directions. It really does make for a cool experience. I'd say, and I do tread carefully here, that on first impression, having played both of the maps for about 45 minutes to an hour, both of these variants are better than their two daytime versions. And there's one reason why, I think. Hardline's time to kill. Visceral are still sticking with the very short time to kill model with Hardline. High bullet damage means you drop like a dead weight within a few shots. Now during the daytime on those maps, it's rather easy to spot out enemies and just, and just take them down. But here, on these darker models, there are shadows to hide in and lines of sight are cut off as it's too dark to really see clearly. This kind of made it easier to traverse the maps and maybe just be a little bit more stealthy, give me the chance to rack up a few kills. You did still die very quickly when you were detected, but it didn't feel as jarring as it did before on the day maps, almost as though I was being punished for being detected in the dark. The nighttime setting helped hide the short time to kill just a little bit, which is nice, and I'm still of the opinion that Visceral do need to switch up the damage model and extend that time to kill. I think it would make the game more accessible, and in many cases it would make the game more fun. But these night maps offer a change of pace that up until this point hasn't been present in Hardline. Alongside these two maps, Visceral have thrown in a few extras as well. Two new weapons, the RO-933 0.300 BLK carbine, that was a bit of a mouthful, and the M110 K5 battle rifle, both of which need to be unlocked with assignments before you can use them. The BLK needs 10 kills with the standard RO933 on both Night Job and Nightwoods, that's 10 kills per map, and the M110 K5 needs 25 kills on both of the maps as well. It's not too hard, and with any luck, you'll have your hands on them in no time at all, really. And they're not just available to what you might think the Operator class and the Enforcer class. No, they are all kit weapons, which is a nice change, I think. And alongside that, we have the introduction of Night Goggles, which for me, I'm not sure if I was doing it right, didn't really make much of a difference. They weren't all that helpful on Nightwoods, as the map is still fairly well lit in most areas, and on Night Job, it just made everything green and didn't really help me pick out targets, and if anything, made it harder to shoot people. Overall, playing these two maps was a very good experience. They both felt better than their daytime brothers, and the fact that the short time to kill aspect didn't play as much of a role was very satisfying, and this allowed me to have as I said, a lot more fun in the game than perhaps I would have if they weren't being played at night. As I mentioned at the start as well, this DLC is free for everybody, not just premium players. All you need is the base game, and it auto-detected on PC for me as well, which means I didn't need to go searching for it in the Origin store. 
This isn't just some tacked on night conversion pack, it's a fully fledged DLC. So go out there and give it a go. Thanks very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you think of Hardline down below. Do you think the Blackout DLC will encourage more people to come back to the game? Leave me a comment and let me know. And while you're down there, drop me a like as well. But until next time, my name is Westy, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Thank you.